Hi. Um, I didn't know if I was going to see a movie this weekend. I said that in the past review. And I did. I was going to go see Great Gatsby again tonight. Um, uh, that fell through. So we went to go see Now You See Me. Here's my review for that. Now You See Me is about four individual magicians. Mm -hmm. Um, played by Isla Fisher, Woody Harrelson, Dave Franco, and Jesse Eisenberg. Um, they are brought together mysteriously under pretenses they do not know. They've given the blueprint to a show, and they do it. It takes them about a year, but they get it. Um, they start with a show in Las Vegas where they ended up robbing a bank. Everyone sees this in the trailer, right? Um, they end up uh, doing another show in New Orleans. Same kind of thing. Last show in New York, same kind of thing. Um, all the time, all the while, they're being pursued by FBI agent Mark Ruffalo. And being their boss is Michael Caine, kind of their boss. He kind of produces their stuff. And their, uh, the guy who's kind of involved because he debunks magic is Morgan Freeman. I'm using the actors' names. Also, that was the synopsis. Basically, that's the whole movie. I'm using the actors' names because I don't remember any of the characters' names at all. I just saw this an hour ago. I don't remember any of their names, if that's any... Uh, precursor to this review. Uh, I remember Isla Fisher's character's name. I remember her name is Henley. That's it. That's all I remember. Um, this movie is not terrible, but it is riddled with holes and flaws. Um, it's a very interesting summer blockbuster. It came out today. It, it just is weird. Like, there's enough action in it, but it's about magicians, and it's kind of light. It tries to be funny, but it's not very funny. Um, it's very interesting. I don't really know how to describe it. Um, it's got three writers, which is... And they all have kind of varying degrees of, oh, that was good, too. Oh, really? Um, in their credits for writing. The director is great. I've seen his other work. He's great at action movies. Um, but Now You See Me, Like a Magic Trick, is all sleight of hand, Flash in the pan. You think you know what's happening, and usually you do. Um, this entire movie was kind of cliched. There was a lot of story elements that didn't need to be in there. The romances that were forced upon and kind of ridiculous. Uh, that had no really reason. I mean, they could have gone without that completely. Um, the the twists. The storyline itself was very cliched. Um, I was always, well, I was at least, I think my brother was too, just ahead of the game. Because I heard some shocks and gasps in the audience, but I figured out everything that happened. Maybe it's because I watched too many movies, but I honestly, this is a very easy to come to movie. Everything comes right to you. It's hand delivered and you see everything and it's ridiculous. Um, it's not as clever as it thinks. I'll give it that. That is what I will say about this movie. It's not as clever as it thinks. Um, it's not as tricky as it thinks. If you've seen the trailer, you've seen the movie. They give away everything in that trailer. Honestly. If you go see the movie, rewatch the trailer for it, you will see everything and you're going to be kicking yourself. That being said, it's not terrible. I may, it may sound like I'm trashing it, and I kind of am, because it is ridiculous, and it's not really great. But it's not terrible, and it was between this and After Earth, and this had better reviews. Also, it looked more interesting. Um, and it is. It's very interesting. I will say, highlights Melanie Laurent and Isla Fisher getting more work. I love both of them. Melanie Laurent is just too damn cute. Uh, Isla Fisher is adorable, and I've always liked her. I think she's got great charisma and should be in more comedies. I mean, have you seen the new Arrested Development? By the way, none of these actors are magicians in the movie. Uh, they did not replace my favorite magician, whose name is Job. Um, after the end of this movie, I wanted to yell, come on. I wanted to, after I watched that, all I felt was, oh, come on, really? Um, that was for my own personal gain. If you get any of those references, we need to be friends immediately, or at least start chatting, okay? Um, but yeah, this movie, it's no prestige. That's my favorite magician movie. Um, it's not as clever as it thinks it is. It's an interesting popcorn flick, though, and it's well worth your time if you're into it. Um, it's an interesting concept, and if you're intrigued by the trailer, definitely go see it, or just search out the spoilers for yourself online. They're there. So Now You See Me gets a about a 2.5 to 3 out of 5 
or a 5 to 6 out of 10. It's an interesting popcorn flick, but I, it really is light. You forget everything after an hour. Honestly, I, I know none of the characters' names. Um, the plot was very thin, and I hate Jesse Eisenberg. Sorry. <laughs> that's what I got from this movie. But yeah, that's my review. Thanks for watching. Comment, rate, subscribe. Sorry, it's a rambling long mess. But, uh, yeah. Goodbye.